Hello, my name is Rana Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Alex Ricapo, the tech lead of the Angular framework, gave a thorough explanation why we need a new control flow syntax. The current approach with NGF, NG4, and NG Switch has the following issues. The syntax is not very developer friendly. The type checking doesn't always work. We need to use an ng container, even if we don't want to create a separate DOM element. It's technically difficult to bring multiple directives working together. The new control flow syntax, where we have an RFC, will fix this. The main takeaway, though, was that NGF 4 and switch might become deprecated. When and how, maybe with an automatic migration script, is a topic of the future, but the Angular team wants to have one way of doing things. Minko Gechev, the Angular product lead, was guest at the Angular Air podcast. He confirmed the plan to release single-based components in version 17 as a developer preview. Brandon Roberts summarized the current status of Analog Chess. This is a meta framework which provides features like read integration, file-based routing, API routes, or server-side rendering and generation out of the box. In the latest recordings of the ng-conf, we got two new insights. A feature marked as developer preview is not beta. It is fully functional, pre-stable, but there might be a chance that the API changes. Second, a forms overall is a midterm goal. At the moment, the Angular team doesn't know yet in which direction it will go. And that's it. Wishing you a nice week and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.